Copyright Disclaimer Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act, 1976, allowance is made for fair use for the purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship and research. Fair use policy is in effect. Scanning your body, my brain, they for it mode Shano, shano, can up, I know your disco I won't make you help me spend my money to last card Hands on your waist, you they make me panic Oh, shoot your bond that we pass, who can't reload I'm on the way, watch your cash, hello, hey, 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 papa You go better make you follow my lead, oh Baby, where your body says, if you cheat, go See the boy, you don't live for the beatings Tell me anything you want to receive Baby, me job, oh, check out your mouth, but uh, Girl, I go give you comfort, oh, because I got you Hi, this message is for Mark, my husband, and or his mistress I know you guys still watch my TikTok uh, So if that's not you, you can keep scrolling, you don't have to, you don't have to listen to this Hey, husband, um, if you could help our six children um, they need new winter coats and boots for this upcoming winter if you wanted to help me with that that would be wonderful also our 10 year old still needs his braces to help with his speech problem if you could help me with that that would be wonderful um, my attorney will have their sizes I know you don't know that um, so even if you wanted to buy them their coats and boots that would be so wonderful of you. Um, I've been working hard to keep the lights on and food in the house for them since you left me with nothing for the Christian marriage counselor you met on here. Um, you know, when you open your Bible, God does not look too kindly on men that do not provide for their household or their children. So I hope you have a change of heart. I was only 13 when we met and you got me pregnant at 14 and continued to get me pregnant, telling me I didn't have a choice to say no or prevent pregnancy or God would punish me. So I didn't really have an option to have these children that you had with me. If you could help me with that, that would be so wonderful and kind of you. I know you're busy preaching here on TikTok, but our children really could, could use the help. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are having the days that you deserve, and God bless you. Hi, y'all. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone. You guys have been so supportive and loving and encouraging and reading your comments. I, I never expected that video to be seen by so many people. Um, I promise I'm going to do a full story time because I'm no longer going to shut my mouth. I've shut my mouth for years and, and done what I've been told to do. And I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. So I'm, I am going to spill it all. I also have to be careful because there is going to be court involved. So I, I, my number one job is to protect my children but I do want to share what I have experienced because I know I'm not alone in it. And I'm, I'm, I'm done letting him get away with everything he's done to me and him being portrayed and, and trying to make himself to be a prophet of the Lord because that's, that's not what he is. But I just quickly wanted to address, his mistress has made some videos in response, um, lying that they are giving me four to $900 a week in child support, which is hilarious. Um, he left in the middle of September, a week after he met her online, and since then... He was putting money into our joint account and then taking money out. I didn't realize at first that he was even putting money in there. And when I saw that he had put money in there, I right away went to the gas station 
to go fill my tank with gas so I could go grocery shopping for the kids because he just completely pulled the rug out from under me. And I was able to pump 27 cents worth of gas and the pump shut off. And I went and I looked and he pulled the money back out. So he has been playing games like that. And the bank statements, the judge will be able to see it. He would put money in, he'd pull money out just to, I guess, toy with me. I don't know. Um, but his attorney and him came up with an agreement that we signed in October that he would start depositing 40% of his bring home pay into our joint account. Now, before this all happened, he was a truck driver and he would bring home anywhere from $1,200 to $1,500 a week. After he ran off with his marriage counselor mistress, he quit that job and he is now claiming that he's making five to six hundred dollars a week. And so that's the 40 percent. He then claimed that he's paid every other week now, which is a lie because it's the same company he's paid every week. But it was a way he could make me wait longer to get money. Like I said, we signed this agreement in October and the first day he was supposed to deposit the 40% was November 7th or the 8th, whatever that Friday was. He did not. That day came and went. I contacted my attorney, told him what was going on. There was no money in the account. Well, it was then a weekend. Monday was a holiday. So he contacted his attorney, went back and forth, no answer. Finally, on Wednesday, so five days after he agreed, is he deposited... 500 and let me double check 560 dollars that was the 40 percent for two weeks that he deposited um so i don't know where this four to nine hundred dollars a week is coming from um he turned my phone off after he left he shut off our son's accounts for his gaming system he's he's just done a lot of horrible things um like i said there's going to be a full a full video well a couple videos of story time but i just i wanted to address because i'm not a liar and that's what they were trying to make me out to be in her videos nothing i've said is untrue and i can prove what i'm saying and i will be proving what i'm saying they've been threatening my family deleting, trying to delete evidence, um, just doing a lot of, a lot of horrible stuff. I, I'm still kind of in a state of shock, but I am in therapy and it's helping. Um, these last couple years, especially the last couple months, it's just been a lot. I was 13 when I met this man. He was 19. Um, after our last baby was born, Things really took a dark turn. And I will, can, I'm going to get into all that because I'm not shutting my mouth anymore. Um, but I'm not a liar. I'm, they can, they can say and do what they want. Um, I'm just here taking care of my babies. I really wanted him to, him to, you know, see that, hey, they could use winter coats and boots and the money you're giving me after almost two months, is kind of a joke. Um, but we have what we need. I'm My babies have me, and I will always show up for them. They are the most amazing children. Um, and the peace that we have in our home now without him here is overwhelming. Um, another thing real quick. He has said that he has not seen his children. He has not tried to see his children. He's never asked. He's never anything. He has sent the police over here claiming I'm not letting him see his children, but he never tried. Um, I will not let him see our children right now because it's not safe for them to see him. He is not okay, and I will be addressing all of that, um, but it is going to be played out in court. Um, I just, again, wanted to say thank you guys. Um, 
there will be a story time at some point. I am busy. I'm taking care of my babies. But thank you again, everyone. And I'm still in a cool Even with who, bitch? Not you Who the baddest bitch? <laughs> Not you Emotional damage You want some therapy? I am made up of ibuprofen and the grace of God at this point I don't even really know how I'm still going